Hello and welcome to another technical analysis tutorial. In this video, we want to talk about Wix and how to actually interpret and view Wix in a different way. Because what you very often hear and maybe read in, in trading books, technical analysis books, is that Wix, for example, like here can be a very strong, um, something like a pin bar, they can be a very strong sign of rejection. So for example, what you can see here when we came down here on the 19th of May, you had a very long push to the downside but a lot of buyers stepped in and pushed the price high, which indicates um, that this is a very strong uh, support level, support zone, and that there are a lot of buyers who are actually pushing the price higher. So a lot of rejection here. And yes, that is true, that is true. And here you've got another uh, sign there as well, where there was um, the pin bar or a long wick acting and indicating a lot of rejection there. There's another one there. And there's another one there. And because you often see that, you often read that, many traders believe that is always the case. They often only look at pin bars um, or at long wicks without taking into account any other factors, without taking into account the bigger picture. And that is why many traders risk losing money because, because of that and because of their failure to interpret Wix in a different way as well, and because they don't have an understanding of how Wix could be interpreted differently as well, they then lose money and they oftentimes lose out. So just wanna show you an alternative way of understanding um, Wix as well. So what, for example, could happen here in this, you know, we, we came down from up here, pushed down into this downtrend, and there you go, surprise, we can see these pin bars here, or at least the long wicks. So that is when, some traders would believe, okay, and I know that for a fact because I know a few people who, who think that way and who've taken decisions because of that. So they think, all right, strong rejection, I better go long here because otherwise I will get into the uptrend too late. Um, so there are apparently a lot of bias here that push the price higher. We came down to that um, here, that resistance level or that support level, sorry, or that support zone, and there was a strong rejection. So that indicates that we now must push to the upside, they will see that pin bar here of that red candle. Yes, they will see that very long, sorry, that they see that wick, they see that very long wick here. They take that into account. They see the green candle, they see another green candle, so they will go along here and then you can see it, they will lose out. But what I wanna encourage you to do also with trading in general, um, try to interpret things from a bigger picture, right? Um, try and take into account different factors. For example, here you have a 50 day moving average as well, and we've fallen below that, which indicates we're in a downtrend, right? That is one factor that comes into that. Potentially use some other indicators as well. Take the bigger picture into account. Take into account the price action here. You can see very, very strong red candles here, a really strong downtrend, a really strong push to the upside, uh, to the downside. It is very unlikely that you suddenly then get a very strong push to the upside again, right? So try to see it from the different perspective as well, because you know we are below the 50-day moving average. We are in a downtrend. We approach the support uh, zone here, which is then indicating yes, there, there must be or there probably will be some sort of rejection here, which there was, which there was here as well. So if you had something similar before here in the past, that can indicate you as well that it will be happening again. You know you had. A lot of support here and then there will be an indication here that you have support there as well before you then push further to the downside but that is the only reason why you get some rejection here um, because you have that support zone and there are still some buyers in the market but oops now that refreshed but please also understand that and we come back to that zone you know see it that way we had a lot of sellers in the market here already and there were so many sellers that they could push the price all the way down here. You know, if you're in a downtrend like that and you push below the 50 day moving average, for example, you have so many sellers here, they actually push the way all the way down to 45,790. Um, and yes, there were buyers as well in the market still, but the sellers were just not ready yet. And then as they proceeded, you know, as the price action proceeded, the price dropped further. So it is really just an encouragement to see that differently as well. And don't just blindly think, okay, because just because we have a long wick, it is an indication that the price action will now reverse again to the upside. Yes, it can happen, but try to understand the bigger picture. If you're in an overall downtrend, which we entered here, because we um, got below the 50 day moving average, 
that is a strong indicator that even though you know if, if you then have a long wick a, a rejection here it still indicates right we had such a big move to the downside we had so many sellers in the market that they pushed the price all the way down there are still buyers in the market but you know with the sellers were just not ready yet and then you can see the, the further development and you can see that time and time again um here as well a lot of you know strong rejection but again in a strong downtrend there, there was probably somewhere a support level in the past here as well um strong push to the downside there was rejection down here yes but just look at the price action very very long very very strong red candles and there was just this small green candle and then you had an even bigger engulfing red candle again so just because you have that rejection just because you have those long pin bars or long wicks as an indicator of rejection it doesn't mean that the whole market needs to reverse suddenly again it just shows that maybe there are still in a strong downtrend still some buyers in the market that think you know a reversal might be coming which is why they enter the market then and push the price higher again but if you still continue that move to the downside then you know the, the sellers were just not ready yet so just try to have a different picture as well there, there are so many people who just go with what is written in a trading book but because everybody's doing it most people are losing money so try to think a little bit differently see the bigger picture take indicators into account as well and possibly also moving averages very important as a trend filter to get an understanding are we in an uptrend or a downtrend so hopefully that video was useful if you liked it please smash the like button and if you want to follow me on this technical analysis journey then please subscribe thanks a lot for watching and see you in the next video bye bye Thank you.